Hi, my name is Christine Celestino Bose. I am the Assistant Director and Academic Advisor for the Pathway Program. I know this is not how we plan to meet for the first time, but here we are. Let me be the first to welcome you to BGSU and to the Pathway Program. I can't wait for fall semester to start so that we can meet face to face. In the meantime, please allow me this moment to introduce myself and a little bit more about the Pathway Program. I am a proud alum of BGSU and am currently working on my 23rd year as an academic advisor on campus. My favorite colors are orange and brown and my favorite part of campus is you, my students. I am married to my high school sweetheart of 25 years and we have two children. Our son is a senior at BGSU and serves as your undergraduate student government vice president. Our daughter, Madi, is going to be a senior in high school but already has the plans in motion for her start at BGSU in fall 2021. We are a BGSU family. Welcome to the family! Wanted to talk a little bit more about the Pathway requirements. As you know, Pathway is a conditional admit program that requires that you live on campus or commute from a distance of no more than 50 miles from campus. You are also required to declare your major as undecided for the first year, and you must earn 24 credit hours and a 2.0 to continue on at BGSU. Our pathway courses are set up in a cohort model, which means that you will be one of 24 students taking the same classes together in the fall semester. This is a great way to develop new friendships and also a support system, peer-to-peer -peer support system, to help you through your classes. Pathway students are required to take a UNIV 1000 University Success Course along with a combination of writing, math, and other pathway courses, all of which will meet the BGSU graduation requirements. I will be setting up your schedules for you so that we can ensure that you're meeting the requirements for pathway and will also make sure they fit your intended major beyond pathway. This will happen during our student orientation and registration program, also known as a SOAR program. If you have not reserved your SOAR date, please do so as soon as possible. And remember, SOAR is a virtual experience this summer. Other things that our new Pathway students can be doing now include making sure to submit your housing payment. If you plan on living on campus and have not submitted your payment, please do so because it is connected to your room selection date. And all of you should be checking your BGSU email. Let me say that again. All of you should be checking your BGSU email. There's so much information being shared with you with regards to your next steps, what's happening in the fall semester, and you might see some Pathway uh, emails in there as well. So make sure that you are checking your email account on a weekly basis. And finally, for those of you who are taking college courses through a College Credit Plus program, be sure to have the college send an official transcript to BGSU so that we can make sure to give you the proper credit on your BGSU record. Speaking of the transcripts, all of you should check with your high school guidance counselors to ensure that your official final high school transcript has been sent to BGSU. The final high school transcript and the college transcript can both be sent to the Office of Admissions. Well, that's all I had for you today. Just wanted to give you an opportunity to meet me and hear more about the Pathway Program. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me or email me. You may call the office at 419-372-5513 or email me directly at celeste at bgsu.edu. Thank you for listening. I look forward to providing some additional virtual uh, conversations with you through the summer and can't wait for fall semester.